and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we are going to get reacquainted with an artist who's been on here before. And he has a special message, particularly for youth, but I think we can all benefit from it. Welcome back to Cabana Black. It's so good to it's see you It's good to see you too. It's good to see you too. I'm excited. So exciting. Mm. You are someone who kind of reinvents yourself pretty frequently. I mean, you stay true to a core, mm -hmm. but you're doing different music, different projects, playwriting, all kinds of different things. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I think that it's important for you to just live your truth. My truth is I realize now, because I think life is a journey, that I'm a creative being. I love to be creative. Okay, I knew that years ago. I know you had But I that. know I didn't. I really, really didn't. I thought, you know, well, maybe I'm a singer, or maybe I'm, you know, a writer, or maybe I'm this, you know, and okay. people will say, well, how are you doing so much? And then it just finally hit me that I love to create, and being creative means I get to change and become different things, and I'm super excited about that, but I think a lot of us should allow themselves to find out that journey. Like, who are you, and then live your truth. I think that's important. And it is hard. I mean, you've always been in a creative career, although you're also a teacher, and that's yeah. partly creative and partly not. Right, right, there. there's some structure there. Yeah, yeah, but but for people who, you know, go to an office every day, mm. you, you, yeah, that, some of that creativity just washes away if you don't use it. No, 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 no. You can put <laughs> you can the magic, you can put the magic in the office. I've seen so many people in their offices. It's, I think magic can be anywhere you put it. You know, so I'm definitely one about believing and creating no matter what the environment is. Especially, you, you have that spirit. I think if you tried to if you tried to stop yourself from creating, you'd go nuts. It I would, think I would work. lose my mind completely, <laughs> completely. I would. So, but but for you, it isn't just the art. Mm -hmm. It is it is your your deeper purpose. Your your love for kids, your belief in society. I mean, all those things are coming together in love over hate. Love over hate. Yes. Um, Love Over Hate was actually created, um, unfortunately, by a tragedy. Um, not in my band, just to clarify, because I am in the band called The Fuzz Band. Right. But on my solo endeavors, one of my band members uh, took his life. His name was Justice Taylor, and he was young, and he was a guitarist, and he was super excited, and I was super shocked about it. And in February, right after Valentine's, I was like, wow, even after a love day, you know, someone that I love. Sometimes those yeah. holidays are more stressful. For and they people. are. And so I just said to myself, you know, why didn't I know? You know, I couldn't see it on Instagram. I went back and researched this page and I realized that depression and heartache and mental health, they don't have a face. They don't have a, a look to it. It is something internal. So Love Over Hate came out and now I'm helping kids as well as adults love themselves over hating themselves, which will help them love others over hating others. And I've been to Smithfield Middle School. I spoke to eight uh, eighth graders, like 100 eighth graders, and it was really a great experience. And now I'm out here just doing it and hopefully I can be a part of the change of helping people love themselves. Well, it's interesting because you do start on the individual level, like Love Over Hate could be, I mean, I think of it as society being not very friendly right now, not very nice, very polarized. Um, you know, I, I immediately go to the, to the big picture. Absolutely. But the big picture starts here. It always starts with us. And that's the thing, you know, I was just having a great conversation with uh, individuals. And one thing we have to realize, and I don't like to be political, because a lot of times there's a lot of lines that happen when you get into politics. but. The climate of where we are, the head is not as gracious, is not giving us those wonderful moral values that the young people need to see. So therefore, it causes things to happen. So I feel my